Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am the owner of Lily Rose Craft Room. And if you're new here, welcome. So for today's video, we are going to be making a zipper tumbler. I will be walking you through every single step and any tools, I will link it down in the description below. All right, so let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start off with a prep tumbler. I already sanded it and I spray painted it. And this is the vinyl that I'm gonna be using for my website. It is a honeycomb pattern. This pattern will be available on my shop on Monday, June 19th, so keep an eye out for that. So I'm just gonna cut out the bottom and then I'm gonna wrap the sheet around the cup just so I can get measurements. So you wanna make sure it's nicely aligned. And then I'm gonna get a pencil and I'm just gonna mark where I'm gonna cut vertically and horizontally. And you can see on the seam of the vinyl where I did a horizontal line and a vertical line. And after that's done, I'm gonna put it back on my cutter and I'm going to cut my, my sheet out. And the reason we're doing this method is where you wrap the whole cup first instead of just cutting your vinyl diagonally and just doing it that way is because you want the pattern of the vinyl to be straight and if you were to cut the vinyl diagonally, it's not going to be straight. So this is the reasoning for that. So now we're gonna wrap the whole cup in the vinyl. So what I'm doing first is I'm aligning the seams perfectly so it's not crooked when I put it on. And to me, this is the best way to wrap a cup like for anything because if you just like peel off the backing and eyeball it, it's not always straight, but this is straight like 99.8% of the time. Okay, so once you align it, you're gonna lay it on a cradle so it doesn't move. And then you're gonna peel back a little bit of the vinyl and then you're gonna cut a little strip off. And you wanna do this like as carefully as possible, like try not to move the cup because we already have the vinyl aligned. So once you cut off that piece, we're gonna carefully place the vinyl on the cup and this is gonna be your straight line. So get that on nice and pressed. Then I'm just here double checking that it's straight. Okay, and then you're gonna flip the cup and then you're gonna peel back a little bit more of that paper backing. And then with the squeegee, uh, like a, a felt tip squeegee, you're gonna push that paper out. So make sure you go like side to side and make sure all the bubbles are pressed out and um, this is a little bit fast forward um, but you need to take your time on this so you can get the vinyl straight with no wrinkles or bubbles and you're just gonna do this all around the cup until the paper backing is off And then next you wanna inspect the cup to see if there's any bubbles. And if there is, this pen works perfectly. It's like a needle tip pen. And you find your bubbles and you just make a little hole and you just rub it out. So this is my favorite pen for popping bubbles. All right, so next we're gonna be making the V on the cup. And I found that a 12 by 12 cardstock paper makes the best size. So you're gonna fold it in half diagonally and that's gonna be your guide. And then you're just gonna cut it right down the middle. And then after we're gonna wrap it around the cup so that pointy part is gonna be the back end. So just wrap it around the cup nice and snug. And then we're gonna get a piece of tape and we're going to tape it on. All right, so once you got your stencil on, you're going to get a blade and we're just gonna cut along the edges of it to get that piece out. I also forgot to mention where it has that V part in the front, that's gonna be where your zipper is going. So you wanna make sure that the seam is right there because we're gonna be covering the seam with the zipper. So make sure the front of it is the seam. And you wanna slowly peel back the vinyl so you're not lifting up your spray paint. Um, sometimes the spray paint does lift up. In this case, it didn't, I'm lucky. But um, 
if you have your spray paint lifting up after you put vinyl on it, then I would recommend that you would paint this part afterwards. So after you've taken off your vinyl, you want to take off the stencil next. So next I'm going to trim the vinyl on the bottom of the cup and this tool that I'm using is called a cup edger. So it has a blade on it and you're able to adjust the height of it depending on how low or how high you want to cut the vinyl. So mine is set on like super low because I wanted to cut low. So next, you just place the cup on the bottom and you push back and rotate the cup so it can have one straight line. Just be careful when you're rotating the cup because it is a blade and you don't want to cut your finger. So be careful when you're using this tool. So once you went around the cup with the blade, you're just going to peel off the excess vinyl. Next, we're gonna be glittering the cup. So this time I'm gonna be using UV resin to apply the glitter. I got this UV resin kit that came with a little cup and a spreader and a lamp. So I'm using the cup that it came with, it's a silicone cup. And then I'm gonna use a nylon brush and I'm just going to spread it a thin layer all around the cup. And just be careful on the edges of the vinyl. You don't want any UV resin on there. So just, you know, carefully go around there. And I found this method to be super easier than like putting Mod Podge because you know how long it takes Mod Podge to dry. So with this, you just put some UV resin and then you put your glitter and you cure it within like three minutes. And then you could just move on. So once I got the UV resin all over the cup, I'm gonna use my glitter from my shop. It's called Icy and it's a beautiful white color shifting glitter. So I'm just gonna sprinkle that on the bottom and cure it after. This UV lamp came with the resin kit that I got. I'll link it down in the description below. Or you, if you don't want to use a UV lamp, you could just go stick it out in the sun for like three minutes and it'll be cure. So when glittering this next part, my camera's battery died and it didn't save what it was recording. So I lost that footage. So what I did is I just used a brush and I went over it just like how I did the bottom with the UV resin. I sprinkled the glitter and now I'm curing it with my UV light. So now I know I need to change my battery before it dies. It's happened before, but now I know for sure, for sure. This won't happen again. Okay, so after my UV resin is cured, I'm gonna take a brush and I'm just gonna clean up my vinyl because I don't want any glitter on my vinyl. So to clean this little cup that I had filled with UV resin, I'm gonna cure it since the cup is silicone, it's just gonna pop out right after. And then to clean the brush, I just spray it with alcohol and I rub it on the napkin until I get all that UV off. Next, I'm gonna use a clear spray paint so I can seal the glitter. So I'm gonna spray this outside and once it's dry, I'm gonna resin the cup. The epoxy resin that I'm gonna be using is Alumilite's Quick Coat. So I use 15 mLs of part A and then 15 mLs of part B, and then I'm gonna rub it all over the cup. This is my favorite epoxy. I use it for every single layer. And if you're interested in using this epoxy, you can use code LILY10 when you're shopping at Illumilite.com. And then after I gave the cup a layer of epoxy, I used this torch I have. It's called Burnzomatic, and I just give the cup a quick pass because we don't like bubbles. So we try to get all those bubbles off. So this is the second coat of epoxy. This time I use 10 mLs of part A and 10 mLs of part B. And this is the coat four hours later. That's why I like using the quick coat because as little as four hours, it's dry to the touch and you can give it a second coat. And we just apply the resin the same way as we did the first time. We're gonna give the cup an even layer. And then after we're gonna hit it with the torch to get any bubbles out. So this is the following day, the epoxy is nice and hard. So now I'm gonna be sanding the rough edges. I'm just gonna be using a sheet of sandpaper. This one is a P150 by the brand Gator. 
And I'm just gonna feel around the cup, seeing where is the rough edges, and I'm just going to sand them off. Once I'm done sanding the cup and everything is nice and smooth, I take it to the sink and I wash it with soap and water to get all that debris off. Next, we're gonna be putting on the zipper. This is a variety pack that I got from Amazon and these are 12 inch zippers. And I got them in different colors and I'll link them down in the description below so you guys can check it out. So I'm just gonna cut off the fabric around the zipper because we just want the zipper part. We're gonna cut as close to the zipper as possible and once you get to the that little part that moves, go ahead and like move it down so it's not in the way and just continue until you get all that fabric off. So this is what it looks like after I cut the fabric at the end of the zipper. And I had like some flyaways as you can see. And I just grabbed like a little torch, you can also use like a little lighter, and just give it like a couple quick passes so it could seal the edges. So this is what the zipper looked like after I cleaned it with the fire. And then next I have some pliers and I'm just gonna snip that zipper part off. And this is only if you have your own zipper charm that you're gonna replace. If you don't have anything to replace it with, then just leave it on. But if you caught last week's video, I showed you guys how to make zipper charms for these specific tumblers. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. So next, I'm just going to trim that silver metal piece because I don't like how it looked. So I just trimmed it off. So then next, we are going to measure from that V part all the way to the bottom of the where the vinyl ends and make sure it's the right length before we adhere it with the UV resin. So next I'm just gonna make a line all the way to the top of the V and then I'm gonna get my zipper and put it on. And I grabbed a popsicle stick and that's gonna help me like press on the zipper while I cure it. And before you bring out the UV lamp, you wanna make sure the zipper is as straight as possible because once you turn it on, it starts to cure super, super fast. So I flash cured the UV resin like for a couple seconds only, just so it wasn't like able to move anymore. And then after I'm done with everything, I cured it for longer. So next where the zipper starts to branch out, we're gonna work in small sections just so we can get the zipper as straight as possible. And then the same with these sections, I'm just gonna flash cure it for a couple seconds and we're gonna keep moving on. And then what also helps too when you're placing the zipper down is when you pull the zipper back and pull it down, that way it adheres to the cup instead of just floating on the UV resin. And then once you get closer to like the end of that V on top, you could just trim the zipper as needed. And then for the other side, we're gonna do the exact same thing. It's gonna work in small sections. So this is what it should look like after you got the zipper on. So this is the part where I would normally put on decals, but since I'm using a clear vinyl, it's kind of like a water slide, you would be able to see the sanded part underneath. So what I'm gonna do next is epoxy it first, just to get that gloss back, and then I'm gonna be putting on my decal. So now I'm gonna be putting on the epoxy. So I'm using the Alumalite Quick Coat Epoxy, and I mixed 5 mLs of part A and 5 mLs of part B. 
So when you're putting this on, you wanna make sure not to get it in the hole of that zipper because we're gonna be feeding the charm loops through it. So if you block it with the epoxy, it's gonna make it more difficult for you to make a hole. So just be careful putting on the epoxy not to cover the hole. And then after I gave it a layer of epoxy, I'm getting my torch and I'm just gonna pop all the micro bubbles. So this was the next day after the epoxy was dry and I got my shine back on the white part. So now I'm gonna be putting on my clear vinyl decal. And these are from my website, lilyrosecraftroom.com and they will be available, so keep an eye out for those. So I'm just gonna trim the edges of the vinyl and then I'm just gonna eyeball it because that's how I put on things. So instead of putting on the whole vinyl on at once, I like to peel back a little section and then make sure it's as straight as possible. And then once I think it's straight, I peel back the back of it and then just slowly push towards the middle and then I work my way out. And this way avoids getting any air bubbles. So this is what it looks like once it's applied and I love how you can still see the glitter even through like the dark parts. So next, I thought it'd be a good idea if I add drips to the cup, like if it was honey, since the decal says she works hard for the honey. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna add some honey. So I am making the drip part now. So I added a little bit of my glitter twilight onto the mix just to make it a little shimmery. And then I added some yellow acrylic paint to the mix. And then I also added a little squirt of white just so it wouldn't be so translucent. And um, I am using the quick coat epoxy for this too. And then to thicken it, I'm gonna be using um, CC DIY nice and thick and to thicken it up. And I do have a thorough video on how to make drips, so I will link it down in the description below so you can get more of a, you know, a thorough tutorial on that one. But I'm just gonna keep adding the, the nice and thick until it's um, as thick as I want it to, and then we're gonna be applying the drips. And then before I go all in with the drip all over the tumbler, I like to test out a section, typically in the back, just to see like how fast it runs. If it runs too fast, I usually wait for the, um, the epoxy to thicken up a little bit more. I know it looks like the drips are dripping super fast, but I actually have this video on like super fast mode, um, sped up, so that's why it looks like they're dripping really fast. And if you feel like the drips are dripping fast and you wanna turn the cup upside down and then just babysit um, so it doesn't run anymore, I was kinda nervous because I didn't want it to cover the O on my decal. So I was like babysitting it extra. But doing drips always like makes me so nervous because I don't want it to drip anymore and I'm like, oh my God, you know, but you know, they always come out so good and I love the drips. But yeah, if you want a more thorough tutorial on the drip, check out my other video. So after about two hours, the drips were dry to the touch. So I'm just gonna give it my last coat of epoxy and this was 10 ml, so 10, um, five of part A and then five of part B to make a total of 10. So I'm just gonna go all over the cup and then like I said, make sure not to get like the whole of that um, the zipper part because we're still gonna be putting our charms through there. So this is the next day, everything is dry. And um, I just love this one so much. I swear, every time I make a tumbler, I'm like, I wanna keep it, but I will be putting it on my website to sell. And I'll also be taking free orders for this because this one's really, really cute. So now we're gonna be putting on the zipper charm. So I made a tutorial last week on how to make charms for the zipper tumbler. And if you haven't seen it, go check it out so you guys can know how to make these. I give a full, thorough, step-by-step so if you wanna know how to make the zipper charm, go check it out, I'll link it in the description below. So I'm gonna be using these little jump hoops that I got from Amazon, and we're gonna be using two of them. One, we're gonna be feeding through that little hole on the tumbler. So this is the part where I was saying like, don't cover the hole because you need to put the zipper charm on. So yeah, so we're gonna be using pliers and we're just gonna feed it through and we're gonna close that hoop on the tumbler.
So once that's closed on the tumbler, we're gonna grab our charm, and this is a little bee, and we're just going to feed it through the hole of this one, and then attach it to the jump ring on the tumbler, and then we're gonna close it. And you also wanna be careful working with pliers like on top of your tumbler, because you don't want it to like slip and scratch your tumbler because then you're gonna need another layer of epoxy. So yeah, just be very careful. And here is the finished look. So I took it outside just so the sun could capture all the sparkliness of the glitter. And I love how you can see the glitter through that clear vinyl, so that is a super, super plus. All right guys, that's it for today's video. If you watched until the end, thank you, thank you so much. Let me know by dropping some bee emojis in the comments. Also, if you learned something, if you're gonna try it out, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel. Also, hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any new videos. See you on the next one. Bye.